Hello, hello everyone. Tommy Girl with you once again for another episode of Let's Play Mist 3 Exile. In the last episode, we solved two out of the seemingly three big puzzles we've seen on this island, and we noticed that there were some journal pages we've been neglecting for the last few episodes, actually. Usually I make it a rule to not start with the journal entries, but uh, I don't want to forget about this. And these are actually the last ones on Amateria, I believe. So, let's go ahead and read them. The memories flood over me too fast. They race around inside my head, filling my soul with despair. The more I think about how nothing can be done, how no one can be alive outside his shield, the faster the fog rushes in. I can lose myself in the fog. When it is thick enough, I can let go and be safe. I can start to forget. But I must not forget. I must remember every lie they told my people. How they manipulated us all to get what they wanted. They told me they had come to fix my world. They asked me to arrange a meeting with the elders. The books they carried in with them showed other worlds. Beautiful places where people didn't have to work so hard to survive. They told my people that Atrus had written these books. That he had written Orion, but that he had made our world unstable. They said he wanted to make us slaves to the tree. They asked me, don't you remember, Savidro? Our father wrote this world to teach us, to show his sons what an age shouldn't be. I don't know what to say. I don't know how it could be true. But why would they lie? Why would Atrus have lied? The worlds they showed us in those books. The elders refuse to believe them. They say we cannot abandon the tree. For thousands of years we have tended the lattice roots. Without our traditions we will die. I don't want us to die. I don't. But Cirrus and Akinar said, they said they would come back, Savidro, just like Atrus once said to you as well. He said he would come back. Then he didn't. He didn't. And for that, you will have to make him pay. Whoa, that was menacing. That was a menacing journal entry. <laughs> Well, that pretty much sums up. I don't think there's any really major new uh, information other than the fact that the um, the brothers, uh, Cirrus and Akinar, clearly um, lied about it, what Atrus said. Atrus clearly made these things to show his sons what he wanted an age uh, to be, and he wanted Narayan to show um, all of those lessons put together. But Cirrus and Ankin are told Savidro that no, that they, you know they brought them there to show show them what they shouldn't be, and that it was Atrus's fault that he wrote that this way, or wrote the age this way, which of course set up the the him telling the the youth that um, that they could fix the age by with writings and things. But anyway, we're at this contraption, and we know how these things work. We have to start by the big lever. Get out of these hedges so I can get a nice viewpoint. That'd be good. All right, we don't get to write it. Oh, I am disappointed. We have. Oh, we can. We can pick stuff up. Wow, this is the age of picking things up. That's that's its new name, by the way. Not on materia. No. <laughs> um. But anyway, let's see. What does this do? Oh. Oh, it did something. All right. Well, I'm, I'm sensing a pattern with that thing rising, the ice ball coming down. All right. Okay, comes around and... Okay, there's a light coming through. I can't point it out, but there's a light coming through the um, hole there and then explosion. Well, there are these tracks on top of here, so I wonder, can we do something? Hmm... Let's see here. Well, we can, can. What can we do? Can we put more of the? Oh, we can put more of these in here. Except, well, this one's trapped in here. So, looks like actually, kind of looks like that's not how the puzzle was originally set up. Looks like someone jammed it or something. So maybe Savidra was once again making this puzzle more challenging. Huh. Interesting. So, um. Hmm. Well, this thing comes over here. And then what happens? Okay, what happens if we put something here? Let's just try it. Let's see what we got. Alright, 
so that thing comes around. Okay, so it hits this. No, nope, it hits... Oh, it's gotta go... Well, that that's a disaster. <laughs> Gosh, that's strange. Okay. So... What if we put something over here, huh? What'll that do? I think it looks like that when it hits this thing down here, it makes it go up on here. Huh. Let's see if that second one does anything. I don't think it will until we get it... I'm thinking that other one uh, signifies the other side, maybe? So it starts there. Yeah, it's gonna go all the way around. So we're gonna have to put one um, on the other side to get it to come over here to make it like jump up or something. Ma jump up on one of these tracks. All right. It's resetting itself. Okay, okay. So this one, this blank one, is much be where it, where it starts. This one, I don't think it, this does anything. I think this is just a hey, you can't use it. Ha ha. You jackass, if you drew. Jackass. What if we put it right... Okay, so it's gonna turn. It's gonna start here, and it's gonna turn. So what if we put, like, one right there? And so maybe it'll jump up this way right away? And then... Yeah, this one turns... Was this counterclockwise? And this one turn. I, I don't know really which way, which way this one turns, but we know this one turns this way. So... Alright, so this is gonna jump up maybe here? into this thing. Obviously, I think we're gonna want these to go into ones with bottoms, because I assume that it would fall through if we didn't. So, it's gonna go here, and then it's gonna rotate some way, but we don't really know what yet. So let's, let's just put one randomly in there, shall we? Just to see what happens, just to see what it looks like. Alright, so hopefully this will jump up here. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that turns clockwise. And that's just gonna do something crazy because we've got it in a bad spot. <laughs> okay, alright, we're making progress. Alright, so we can put that there. And then, um, that'll end up here, so we'll put this one... We'll make it so it hits right away and comes over. That'll put it over here, I think, if we do that right. And then, um, this one will be to the bottom by then. And then maybe put it here. Ooh, this one's a little trickier. Hmm. Maybe it's going to be turned by then. So... I'm not sure, but I'm going to try that and see what happens. But I feel like we've got two out of the three pegs at the right spot. We'll be able to get it closer to, to a solution. Oh, that that sent us straight through. Okay, so we're actually, we're gonna want to send this one on the longer one instead. I understand. Okay. I got it. So, instead of having one right there, I think we're gonna want it here. So actually, we only had one right. Lies and slander and wrongness. That's too bad. Alright, so we've got that there and then so that means this will go all the way over hopefully it'll be turned to there by then this is going to be turned a different direction that's what's really confusing about this puzzle and then we're going to want this to go up that way so are we gonna so this is going to go counterclockwise so we're going to want this to go kind of way way around so we're going to want it i'm thinking as far this is going to be at the bottom i think we're going to want this to rotate pretty far Let's try that. I will 
admit this puzzle has always uh, been a little tough for me because I have a hard time turning stuff in my head. So it's always a little bit of a challenge, but we get it figured out. No problem. Go around like that. Okay, good. That's exactly what we want. All right, and then good. This looks like it's going all the way around, which is exactly what we want as well. Oh, we need it to go further, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. We're so close, I can feel it. All right, so that there, and that there. And then, so we had this go all the way around. Hmm. Maybe we're starting out with the wrong thing, huh? Let me try some stuff. What if we put this here instead? And then that there. Because I feel like actually the way we're having it is not going to work. Let's try. Trying is caring, and caring is something else. <laughs> Maybe we want it to go further this time, huh? Like to this one. Yeah, we haven't tried to t put it to this one, so that doesn't work. Okay, so this goes all the way around there. Okay. That actually is going to be... Oh, and then we can put it right next to it. Oh, we solved it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay. So we had we we had it going to the wrong track early on. All right, I've got it. Some process of elimination. We figured out why the other way doesn't work. So we're gonna try having it go to that track and then over to this side and then having it turn and go to this one. Cause that should be turn once and then put it in the middle. Good. All right. All right. I feel really good about this one. So as you can see, you can look like you're making some progress in this puzzle, and then realize that the way you're doing it is not going to work, <laughs> which is so disheartening. But I think I think we've got something here. Just had to turn the ice ball a little further. like it yes oh awesome Ooh, bridge cam <laughs> it's my favorite show I watch it every weekend Ooh, okay so this is a green one woo and then right, let's fill in we've got some very predictable patterns Interestingly enough. All right. It's scribbled down and ready to go. Oh, we gotta, I guess we gotta come down. I must say, actually, I'm of the, pin of the opinion that, um, how do the puzzles, the three puzzles on Amateria are difficult in different ways, which is good, I think. This puzzle, I actually think, is probably the most legitimate trial and error, and was was always a little challenging for me because uh, the spatial, the spa being able to turn those in my head was always a little bit of a challenge. I'm just not that great at that, uh, thinking like that. Um, the the weight one, uh, the balls that we were we were trying to balance, is only difficult because uh, I feel like you have to one figure out first. You have to figure out that they that the the, the it's inside the house where you need to balance those. That, that took me a second the first time, and it took a second to realize that. But once you realize that, and uh, as long as you have the information from Savidra's lab, if you um, that puzzle's not that difficult. But the bad thing about that is you do kind of need that information from Savidra's lab about what balls are heavier than what and what they're all worth. Bad thing is if you didn't notice that, ah, oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. Um, the one the the big puzzle in the middle was um 
was probably is probably more known as one of the difficult ones but i feel like it's actually not that difficult as long as you don't overthink it it's an easy puzzle to overthink and it's an easy puzzle to not fully understand exactly like what it is you're trying to accomplish at first but i feel like once you figure out that you need to just just get those in a certain order like the order the ball's going in you don't even need to know uh, that's that you're necessarily turning off the waves or whatever as long as you get the idea that hey I need to set these in order um, Based on where the where the ice ball is gonna go um, you'll, you'll be fine in that puzzle And as you can see here, I'm putting in all the codes we found to try to get uh, to this middle section Interestingly enough all these outsides are red when um, the ones we were using before were red, blue, and green, I believe. The, the, the ones, the outsides of the, the colors of the codes we got. So that's interesting. All right, and we can just get in. I'm, I'm, I'm most pleased. What the heck's going on in here? Wow. That's star treatment, isn't it? I feel really special right now. Roll out the red carpet. I'm coming through. What is going on? Tracks. Wow, broken tracks. They're all twisty and messed up. Well, that one looks like it goes somewhere, but look, they, some of them lead to walls and, well. Are these like discarded pieces of tracks? Is this like the storage room? But it kind of looks like this might be needed for something. There's like doors and stuff. Oh, look, I was, you know, I, I didn't say it out loud, but it did occur to me like, I haven't seen one of those Sabidro. Oh gosh, I haven't seen one of those Savidro cams in a while. Are these stairs? Or is this a death chair? Oh, it's a death chair. Great. <laughs> I feel so secure. Alright, Savidro cam. What do you have to say? This morning I woke up and I couldn't picture Tamron's face. The little line at the corner of her lip that pulls her whole mouth down when she smiles, the flutter in her eyelashes. I try so hard to picture her in my mind, put her down on paper as if that might bring her back. I couldn't do it. Atris, I'm not you. Oh, that's really sad. Why are you such a downer, Savitro? Oh wait, you have reasons still. Oh, so sad. Losing a loved one. Not something that anyone wants to happen to you. Nope. And actually, I realized I misspoke a few seconds ago. I said that one of the puzzles had red around it. It was actually yellow. My apologies. We have a thing. I don't know what it does. We also get this really awesome viewpoint. Oh, what does that do? What is that? What? Whoa, what is that? What is that? Oh, are we? Are we in the UFO? Oh, awesome. We just hit the green one, which makes sense because this was the one that was the outside color green when we solved it. The outline of the the puzzle solution was green on this one. We hit green. And there it goes. And then the bridge goes up. Alright, so we can click on those things. Okay, red is the only one we haven't seen. What does red do? We haven't seen any red puzzles. Uh. Oh, that's the bridge! Okay, that makes sense. That must be like the full solution. We've seen that each of them makes them go up. So... I'm confused. Let's mess around with this thing. All right. Actually, you know what we should probably figure out? And something I really haven't been making note of. See, look, these are all the colors. These are the green, blue, yellow, and then the red to the bridge. That's all these puzzle and lights up here. And then these raise a certain part of the bridge, but I have not been paying attention to what section. So let's do that. Let's... We already watched this one, so my apologies. I, I was not paying. I don't know if it actually shows you, but let's let's look. For all the bridge cam we got, I was paying zero attention. 
So this time, we shall write down what bridge it brings up, because I'm thinking we're gonna have to use that, that we're gonna have to know that for this little circular puzzle thing we're looking on, looking at. Can I see? Yeah. Alright, that's the third one, I'd say, because it looks like, we'll go by what order the ball's gonna hit, so that's the third, the third bridge piece. Alright, so let's do, let's do the blue one. So we get to see this and work. The bad thing is, I mean, we've seen all this, so it's not the most exciting thing I've ever seen in my life. But, you know, it's kind of nice. See all those turning off in order. Alright, oh, oh, okay, cool, it's gonna show us. That's the first one. Okay. So, process of elimination, we don't even need to watch it, it is, um, the yellow, the scale one must be the second one, because we've seen that there's only three pieces there. So I'm thinking, since the red one has the ball do its final thing, because clearly we must have to get to this or something. We have to do something on this bridge. And we've got all these little connecting things. So maybe we have to kind of show that, okay, like first we need blue to connect to yellow and then yellow to connect to green because blue is the first bridge then the second then the third and then the final. That makes sense. But what are these exactly denoting? Like, look at these. These We can twist these. Okay, so we can twist these. I, I was thinking that maybe we would change them if we clicked on them, but no, they just turn. But what exactly are these representing? I mean, they connect. Hey, you know, you know, we did see all those tracks that were just kind of laying around in the middle of the pagoda. I bet you that these are the tracks. We're turning those around. So, oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, you ready for this? So what we need is we need all of these things to to connect to each other. All these, we need one big long... Uh, train ride, roller coaster ride going. So we have all these bridges come up. So we need it to come inside this pagoda and go to the next one and put them up in order and then so this thing can get here and I don't know, trigger something. We need it to get here. That's all I know. Alright, so now that we've realized that we need to connect these like one track because these are in the center let's mess around with some stuff, shall we? Oh. We shall. We shall. Alright, so first we need, I believe it's blue. Yeah, because we're starting with blue, because that's the, um, the blue puzzle, the, the big puzzle in the middle, the noisy puzzle, if you will. <laughs> so, alright, so, we'll be starting, do we need to have this, is this the start or the beginning? the end. It looks like that this would be where you would go into the puzzle and this would be where you would leave. So do we need... So, okay, so I'd assume we had... I don't know if we need... If it's starting here, I don't know if it's gonna matter if it's connected to anything. Because I think we're, we're gonna start by pressing the blue one so we can get all the bridges in order. Okay, so let's have this go... What choices do we have? Pretty much that. That's our best choice it looks like. So we'll send this to the middle, we'll have something connected there, and we want to send it to yellow next. That's the best way for us to do that, huh? Maybe tur turning like this. It's gonna make it hard for us to get to red later, we're gonna need to. Hmm, this is already getting slightly tricky. Let's see. Maybe it's not gonna matter. Maybe if as long as they're connected, maybe we don't have to send, like, maybe it'll automatically go. Make sure it's just connected. Let's just make sure it's connected. Maybe we don't have to worry about it going in a certain way. We'll worry about all that stuff later. If that doesn't work. That, that's the plan. We can have... Uh, I don't know if it matters which way we have this for now. We'll just leave that where it was. Okay. So anyway, so we need to go to yellow. So let's let's make sure we have something connected with yellow here. Something going into yellow. That's the best way to do that, huh? Seems like we'll need blue connected to yellow at the very least. How are we gonna... Probably thinking we're gonna have to go up here. 
moving around like we were looking at before. Like that. And then... Like, okay, so that looks... Okay, actually, this looks like... Yeah, it looks like we are going to have to direct stuff like that. Okay, so we'll send this to yellow. Like that. The yellow puzzle is the uh, the scale puzzle with uh, the two wooden balls that we're weighing. So we'll send it to that. That raises the second bridge, because this one raises the first. And then we'll send it along this track. Straight looks good. Oh, I don't really like it this way, though. Can we... Yeah, that's much better. Then we can set it straight like that. We need it to go to green. That's perfect. It doesn't even matter which way we turn that one. Already solved. Hooray. Um, and then this comes down this way. I think that's really the only way. Yeah, it's really the only way we can. And then... How are we going to get this? Oh, this is not going to be good. We need to get this to red. Because that's the third bridge. And then we got to get it all the way up here. How are we going to do that? Well, we need to turn this at the very least. And then maybe, oh, okay, so we can turn that, and that still goes that way. And then this goes up. Oh, that looks right. Okay, let's double check before, before we, it, it hasn't done anything, but I think this should be right. Okay, so start with blue, go through blue, and then we wanna head to the yellow one, all the way around to the yellow one, down here, out toward the green one, the green one over here, and the path all the way up to the red one. Good. Okay, so since the first, since we want all those to raise and then the ball to go across there, we should hit the blue one. Oh, what, what, what is happening? Wait, the, the, no. What? Okay, well, clearly we did something right or wrong. I don't know. I don't, I don't condone torture. What? I, I, I don't want to be one with the ball. Or do I? I don't know. What? I didn't sign up for this, Atris. Well, that was a ride now, wasn't it? I didn't want to talk too much through it because I wanted you to enjoy it, Splendor. And there is the symbol. Let's take out our handy-dandy sheets of paper that we somehow have as the stranger. And, uh, scurry that down. Scurry, scurry. Scurry, scurry. Done and done. All right. Well, that was an interesting and unexpected endeavor. I remember the first time I saw it. That was like, what just happened? So much excitement. Yes. So when you get the solution to that puzzle, then you can be one with the ball and ride super roller coaster pinball machine. Woo! 
Woo! Even though we're in something that seems to be kind of breakable? Once again, Atrus's parents, or, uh, Atrus's parenting. I'm a little frightened. Maybe it would have been better if his sons had died on this magical roller coaster ride. Look at this little chair, it's all by itself now. Death chair! Death chair. But, uh, no, that's, that's an awesome segment. I bet you that, uh, that it was a probably somewhat difficult to to render that out because there's a lot of detail in that little video we got there but pretty cool part of what makes it so cool you know what's even cooler we've got all our pets our symbols now oh yeah oh yeah we're here but we aren't gonna do anything until the next episode oh I gotta keep you, I gotta keep you waiting, waiting, I gotta keep you wanting to come back. Bwah. Anyway, in the next episode, we will put the final symbol on here and hopefully uh, have a little chit-chat with Cifidro. I'll see you guys next time.